Hey Sagittarius Collective, what's up? How y'all feeling, Sagis? How y'all doing? My archers, my Sagittarius. All right. We are doing a Celtic cross reading for the first time for you on this channel. Let's see what your challenge of the week or right now might be your biggest challenge. What you need to focus on the most. Hold on, God, top cards. Hold on. Okay, apology and forgiveness fell on the floor. So do y'all need to apologize or forgive someone? Or maybe somebody owes you an apology. I'm not going to take that one, but let's just see. Yeah, uh, challenge right now. What's your biggest challenge right now? It is, I ain't got no challenge. Challenge who? Challenge what? Okay. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you ignoring somebody. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. That's kind of like um, unrequited love. It's a love situation. Could be um, someone was investing in you and you didn't feel the same or the other way around. Someone was giving love and the other person wasn't interested in receiving it. <laughs> so it could be a water sign or you have water sign placement in your chart. So this could be how you feel someone did you. I don't know. This is the feeling of ignoring someone though. I'm just like loving ignoring someone. Okay, we're going to start here. Wow. Ace of Cups is the situation. You started off with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Heavy Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Something has happened over the last month. The last month is significant. One month is significant, if not the last month. Maybe you only dealt with this person for a month. Your challenge right now is the three of cups. Ooh. Mm, maybe you just wanted to have fun or your person just wanted to have fun. Because the death part, yeah, it ended. Wow. Could be a third party, too. Somebody could drink a lot. Okay. Your future is the three of wands. You got a lot of threes coming out here. Okay, three of wands is Aries energy. Your goal right now is the fool. Mm. Let me shuffle a little bit more. What are your feelings right now? Thank you, Spirit. Five of Pentacles. Oh, you feel left out in the cold. So somebody did this to you. Somebody may have rejected your love offer, put you in a third party situation. Show me your advice right now. I'm gonna take this one. Yeah, advice right now is the four of pentacles in reverse. Let go. Capricorn energy. Your um, where am I? Your environment right now is the lovers, but you're in love with someone. Could be a Gemini. We have Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, what's your hopes and fears in one card? Thank you, Spirit. Justice. Ooh. So some of you, you want somebody to pay for what they did to you. Remember I said forgiveness and apology? This is forgiveness and apology. You cannot make it up. It came out in your cards anyway as the Justice card. I feel like you think somebody owes you an apology. Show me... Didn't y'all get that in y'all? Oh, that could have been my other channel. I don't know if it was Sagittarius or Aries, but I said somebody feels like you owe them an apology, but I'm thinking it could be the other way around. I think it's on my other channel. It's linked. I think I linked it. If it's not linked, y'all can just click on my, my channel and look at my other channel. It'll show my other channel. If you click on the little icon, like my profile picture, it'll show you my two channels. All right, so we have your outcome as the six of wands. You get victory and success in the end. Whatever this person did, don't even matter. It could be a Leo, we got Libra, we got Gemini. Judgment, mm hmm at the bottom of the deck. You could be in some kind of legal situation, even a divorce with someone. But you're making a final decision about this person. Some of y'all, this unrequited love is you saying, I ain't even about to even be giving you no love no more because you didn't burn your bridge with me. Is this person acting a certified fool with my Sagittarius collective? The situation is the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love. Somebody has feelings and love. Obsession. Ooh. Excuse me. They have a nerve to think you're obsessed with them. Could be a Capricorn. Somebody got a big ego. They think you're obsessed with them. Sagittarius. Who is this? That's crazy. Why is the challenge the Three of Cups? See, they were dating multiple people. I said, why? Is, what is the challenge? The challenge is the Three of Cups, which could represent a love triangle. So dating multiple people. Dating two people. Jesus. Mm. That could be why they did not accept your love offer, even though you were offering them love. Okay. What's the cause? The death card. They ended it with you. Could be a Scorpio. Yeah. And they left you to heal your heart. Whatever ended needed to end. And I feel this person being humbled in the end with that justice card. They're going to be humbled. 
told me that my three of wands as the future. Three of wands represents success, waiting for your ship to sail. And some of y'all just chilling. Look at this, holding back. Oh, I can't show that card. That lady ain't got no rolls on. Okay, so yeah, holding back, waiting. Three of wands is patiently waiting. Like, that's the sweetest revenge. When you ain't got to lift a finger, you just letting the spirit, the universe, karma deal with people. This is karma. Yeah, you're just letting karma deal with this person. So you want to you wanna step to them. You want to give them the smoke, but you know you can't. Leo energy. Aries energy. Why do I feel like they're going to call you in the next three days? Something had to happen over the last month to three months with this person. They're going to call you over the next three days. And um, to a week. They're going to reach out to you. I feel like some of you are going to block this person. You feel like they're a fool. They could be tricking off money. Giving their money to strippers and stuff like that. Because that's what he's doing. He at the ATM in the strip club. Like, take all my money. He being a fool. He being Aquarius. Tell me why we have the fool as the gold. Some of you, this person's just going to get there. Come look at this. Sugar daddy, sugar mama. You cannot make it up. These are two different decks of cards. And same energy. I told you they're tricking off on somebody. They, they being played for a fool by somebody else that's using them for money. It could be somebody who's a dancer or a sex worker. They could be spending money on sex workers. Show me why we have the five of pentacles. Them leaving you out in the cold as you're feeling. So you feel abandoned. Same sex. You could have found out this person went both ways. I don't know. Others of you, it's another feminine. There's two feminines on the card. So it could be someone of the same gender as you. You could be the feminine, okay? Show me why we have... Ad, um, your advice being the four of pentacles, let it go in reverse. Because it's toxic. The spirit is saying, uh-uh. Look at this. Look what he's saving his money for. Stripper savings. I don't know if y'all can see right there on the piggy bank. That's where all his money is going to, to trick it. Okay, so we have the lovers as your environment. I still feel like you love this person. What in the hell? Inconsistent. Mm. So this person is your choice, but they're in and out of your life. They got you on an emotional roller coaster, ups and downs, highs and lows, inconsistency. Could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Gemini. Okay, Sagittarius. Last two questions. Your hopes and fears are justice. So I feel like some of you want this person to get their karma, but a lot of you are at the same time thinking, I don't want to wish bad on nobody, but they deserve it. <laughs> okay, what's this? Arguments. Mm. So some of you want, maybe you want to just like have peace about the situation. You don't even want to wish bad on this person. You want to move on with your life and let karma deal with them and karma will. They could also be arguing with these other people or another person that they've been tricking off on. I'm telling you this woman here, the six of wands, this could be somebody who's like a pseudo celebrity. Somebody that's like a OnlyFans person that they're spending money on. They're tricking off their money on somebody that's using them for their money. Because they being a sugar daddy or sugar mama, Okay. And the six of wands could be someone in the spotlight, but this person's in the spotlight because she got her crotch right up in the laptop recording. This could also be a person that gets around a lot. You got these wands here. The six of wands are microphones, but a lot of these cards have phallic symbols in them. So they actually are phallic symbols. So this could be someone who's like sleeping with a lot of different people. Something happened over the last six weeks with this person um, or the next six weeks. Friends are involved. They could have told you this person was a friend, but it really was more than a friend. Again, could be a Leo. Something's going to come to light over the next six days that you didn't even know about this situation. Let's get a piece of advice for you. Cycles, completion, and um, change. Mm -hmm. You're not going to talk to this person. You're blocking them. I feel like you have nothing to say. You're moving on. You're getting closure. I told you here with the judgment. I can't show it because she don't have clothes on. But judgment is about making a final decision. What's best for you? Righting wrongs. I do feel like you will forgive this person because that is about forgiveness. But within yourself. You ain't going to have no conversation with them about it. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I will see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Peace, Sagittarius.